It's a project focusing on building a computational framework to analyze next generation sequencing data and solve problems such as early cancer diagnosis. What does that all mean? To break it down for us, Dr. Bang La, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Technology at Algoma University's Brampton campus now joins us. Peng, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Tell us about your research. I had a brief introduction there, but give our viewers a better sense of it. Yeah, so um, my research is focusing on uh, analyzing the, this data called next generation sequencing. So it's a technology that uh, can read the genetic code from many uh, fragments of DNA at once. So we can see these tiny changes linked to diseases. And uh, as for like a cancer diagnosis, so um, nowadays we, we can use, there are many type of sequencing assays. We can uh, identify different uh, like mutations or like any kind of information from the same blood samples. And then uh, using a uh, building AI model, we can then diagnose all these informations and uh, diagnose cancer uh, even like um, at most two years before it's, uh, uh, I mean, the tumor is identified by medical images. So it's a very, um, uh, popular and the challenging area and uh, our um, I mean our uh, study is try to uh, de develop a deep learning framework that can better interpret all these different type of uh, sequencing data types so that uh, the model can uh, more accurate and uh, reliably uh, identify cancer for uh, people. So you're talking about computer coding to help narrow the field of possible diseases. How long have you been working on this research? Well, um, uh, I start this uh, study uh, when I was a postdoc at uh, Princess Margaret Cancer Center, um, uh, and uh, my supervisor Trevor Pugh. Uh, the I mean, uh, their lab is focusing on uh, using this self. Uh, I mean, self-free DNA. This is a kind of thing we uh, sequence and uh, try to uh, use them to predict cancer. It's uh, like um, I've been working on this for I think uh, four four years. Yeah. And uh, previously, we used like a traditional methods, basically statistics and uh, uh, like uh, uh, this um, uh, simple machine learning models, like um, support vector machines as uh, random forest to analyze this data and uh, separately to, and then like uh, using uh, like a voting method to combine all the results together to predict uh, cancer for patients. But uh, nowadays uh, we are trying to improve it using uh, deep learning to make sure uh, to uh, we, we believe that uh, this uh, uh, I mean using deep learning it can better learn these features across these different types of data and uh, maybe improve the uh, accuracy uh, of the prediction. Peng, appreciate your time and continued success with your research. Thank you. Peng La was our guest, and to see more of our Tech Talk series, head to ctvnews.northernontario.ca.